In this video we'll take a look at user interface and user experience of Blocks 6 and if you're a Blocks 5 user you should probably skip this video because the overall workflows are the same there's just a little bit of visual difference between the two versions but if you're completely new to Blocks this video will probably be very helpful to you so let's go to our blocks application and when you open it you will be greeted with this welcome screen for now let me quickly create a new project and when we're creating a new project we have an option to choose a template or start from scratch let's create well let's choose some template and in block 6 we can change the color gamuts color color palettes so purple for example on default one and yeah this is the general user interface of blocks basically we have two sidebars and the canvas in the middle so the left sidebar is split between the layer tree and page navigator layer tree is kind of a skeleton of the website when you select something on the canvas which is in the middle it will show you where it is located and you can like move things around you can kind of uh, find some different small elements on your website and so on and if you want to have a more general bigger structure of your website you can switch to page navigator and here you will have all of the pages and now in block 6 we can also add folders for example new pages and we can add new page for example let's say new page we can duplicate it we can select multiple pages move them around and so on so page navigator is where you kind of work with all of the pages and you can easily create duplicate and move around all of the pages in addition to that of course we can now move the house icon here to change the home page so when you select something on the canvas right sidebar which is inspector will show everything you can do to it visually so basically you can change some padding margin you can change colors of the elements using the color manager you can also change the alignment change some fonts and so on there are not too many options here there are some animations some scroll effects but if you want to go deeper and you want to customize something even more there is classes and classes can be added by typing a name here so let's say new header and when you click on this class you will be greeted with class editor and as you can see inside here we have much more options so for example for for the text we can change the color here as well there are different many many options here much more than in the sidebar and basically this is where you spend most of the time when you want to do something very custom and there are a bunch of different options there are new ones in block 6 like transform and transitions which allow you to animate elements i will take a closer look at all of that in this course of course but yeah basically this is how you work in blocks projects you select elements using the layer tree you move them around you manage them same goes for the pages and then when you select some element you can adjust it visually using this inspector in if there is not enough options you can add the new class and inside this class you can change pretty much everything for example let's say we want to change like radio so we can make this image like round like this as you can see so maybe this is the design you work for you you're going for and another thing we have on top here is the preview mode when you click on this button you can switch to preview mode and here we can preview how our website will look on different devices we can add more devices for example let's set an ipad it will just bring it here we can also like create our own devices our own sizes and yeah it's very very customizable so if you want you can really create crazy structures here to preview how your website will look on any on any type of device i usually just stick to the like three or four so desktop 
mobile or tablet will be more than good enough for me. In addition to that, here in the bottom right corner, we have these shortcuts to main kind of managers. This is the class manager, which kind of the place where all of your classes, all of your styles are stored. From there, you can browse them, you can open them, you can edit each of them. Then we have asset manager, basically all of the images or videos or assets you have for your project. We have new color manager and all of these managers now in block six have this new slider which allows you to create a custom layout, custom like uh, scaling. So if you want to have huge color swatches, you can do that now. If you want to have small ones, you can also do that. And same goes for the asset manager. If you want to have big image, you can also change that. And it's very customizable. In addition to that, we on top here, we have the master menu. And from here, we can access all of the settings for this page or for this project. So there is a project settings, which we will take a look later in this course. There's page settings and so on. And of course, Blocks app allows you to create mobile friendly websites. So here in the top, we have breakpoint switcher. So we can switch between four breakpoints and you can adjust each of these breakpoints separately and Blocks will remember what you've done to each of these breakpoints. You can also use shortcuts command one, two, three, four to quickly switch between them. To be honest, I'm using this all the time and you will see during the course how often I use this. So you can, for example, resize this width for this breakpoint, then go to another breakpoint and change it back and then do the same like that. And you will see that now all of the settings I applied are breakpoint specific. So obviously this is not what you want to do, but you can see how you can quickly switch between breakpoints and adjust all of the settings you want. If you want to install some custom inst extensions, you also can do that using the extension manager. And if you want to install fonts, you can also open font manager, install Google or local fonts. I will show you how to do that in the future videos. And if you want just to see a list of all of the big elements or big managers in blocks, you can go to the window and here we have all of these managers, all of these elements in one place. So there is a class manager, there is asset manager, color manager, icon manager. In block six, we finally have the SVGs instead of the regular icons. And you can install your own custom sets, which is very welcome future. We have like bootstrap icons, for example, very popular ones. When you add an icon to your page, the star icon here, as you can see that we have the options to adjust this uh, SVG icon. If we want to change it, we click on it, change it to something else. Then it will be, as you can see, changed on the layout as well right here. I think everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. We will go into detail about everything in this course. But in this video, I just wanted to tell you the overall structure of the project. And maybe the final thing I want to tell you is how you actually assemble the pages. Right now we opened the like the template, so it already has some elements. But if you want to add more, basically you click on these plus icons, which are bringing the block bar. And here you have all of the previewed sections in your project, in your block application, not project. And you can choose between the core blocks but if you get for example my minimalist library you can get hundreds and hundreds of pre-built and pre-optimized sections for every like uh, section on your website and in block six we have this new slider which allows us to change the size of these sections from very small to very big making it very easy to preview the section before adding it to your project so I do like this feature a lot. It is very customizable. And when you add a section to your website, well, right now it uses the colors there, you can actually change it. You can delete buttons, for example, then you can click on this small plus icon to add bricks, which are small elements of the website. So each of the blocks are made out of bricks and the pages made out of blocks and well, the blocks project, the website is made out of pages. So the hierarchy is like that. So to add a brick, you use this brick bar 
and let's say we want to add the button back we can do that here we can drag in drag elements we can resize them using just the freehand control the future and what it does it will actually create a class for us which we can later edit to create even more customized experience and if you add an image to like this you can customize this image as well either using the blocks image editor you can crop it you can resize it or you can actually use the new cool image masks i think we have this image mask feature somewhere here yeah and you can for example create some beautiful structures like this and even like something like that and when you finished working on your website you can go to this share icon in the top right corner to publish your website directly to your server you can edit here using the built-in ftp client and you can also export the files to your computer and then use the traditional ftp client to upload the files manually there are also a few options to share screenshots and so on so starting from the next module i will go slowly into all of these details and we will build together a great looking beautiful and real website which i will show you in the next video